What's up, what's up? I'm Danny, that's Nick. We're in Hialeah at the shack. We're about to check out Hialeah. Stick around. Florida yeah, Room. Later. Florida Room, episode two. <laughs> This call is now being recorded. Hello? Ricky? Yes, sir. ¿Qué pasó? What's up? ¿Qué más, bro? Are we, are we alone? Yeah. Well, I, I'm... A... Are you are you on a secure line? I think so, man. Hopefully okay. it's not tapped. All right, well, just keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, you never know. I feel like the Fed recording this call. Yeah, I don't know why. Anything you say here is in the strictest confidence, so don't worry. <laughs> Okay, man, I hope so. If, a, if an agent comes knocking <laughs> the door late tonight, yeah. it was not us. If anything sketchy happens to you in the next 24 hours, it has nothing to do with this call, you know what I mean? <laughs> what happened with you but i didn't i mean i don't know if you feel comfortable talking about it but yeah no, of course yeah i mean i, I don't i don't remember shit like i i all this had the pain started at 7 a.m and i think i went to surgery around 10 11 a.m they told me i had this thing it's called uh pericarditis in which like the heart membranes are like swollen and i remember waking up like at 4 or 5 p.m they don't know why but um, i'm gonna have to 
stop smoking cigarettes, kid. This is the Saturday that you were going to play a solo shit at Three Points, and then you play with Highlight the next day, right? Yeah. <laughs> the doctors did not believe for a second that drugs weren't involved in this. You don't use drugs, and they were just saying, like, they were, like, convinced that you must have been, like... They're like, bro, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, you know, you're, you're joking. Of course you do drugs, and of course you're, you're hot in all of this because you did a bunch of cocaine. You're in the hospital, in the wheelchair, and then, like, bang, you're, like, you're up on stage, like... Yeah, people typically have a heart attack after they play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of it as, like, a logical point I shouldn't have played the show, but, I mean, I, I couldn't let my buddies, you know, play without me. I want to be with the them. <laughs> At the very least, if it would have gone horribly wrong. I'm yeah, well, and maybe Highlight would be more famous yeah. now. <laughs>
Oscar. <laughs> hey, what's up? How are you? I'm doing great. I'm enjoying this Sunday afternoon. Yes, like summer again here in Miami, Florida. I thought this would be an opportunity for you to shout out Mary's Coin Laundry. <laughs> Mary's but Palacio is a step above, in my opinion. It's, they have everything there. You know, you got juices, you know, different cuts of meat, and all sorts of, all sorts of sides, and, and you get Coco Frio, nice cold coconut juice, yeah. freshly <laughs> drilled. The juice palace. Freshly drilled, I like that. Freshly <laughs> drilled for your enjoyment. A palace of juice. But you know that's how Iggy uh, <laughs> Pop, Pop uh, cracks open coconuts like that with a power drill. He does? Yeah, there's footage of him. Uh, he's in his backyard. Such a beautiful image. Like, it might as well be skulls, it, you know? Yeah. Like, like, oh, that's very Iggy Pop, you know, taking the industrial and yeah, you know, like, taking it to nature. <laughs> Yeah, what's up? Yo, it's Nick and Danny, dude. Tell me about like your first moment. Like, what do you remember about discovering music, or um, you know, when you started playing? When I was a kid, I, I, I asked my mom to buy me a, a guitar, a Guitar Hero, and so I started playing it and had all these really cool, you know, classic rock songs, you know. And then later on, dude, uh, when the Beatles rock band came, it was like this whole new world opened in front of my eyes. I mean. I learned so much from that fucking game, dude. Like, you have Yo, no like, idea. I think my favorite song to play was uh, While well, My Guitar Gently Weeps, because uh, because George Harrison will be sitting down at, uh, at the top of this mountain with his legs crossed playing the guitar, and I would always like to see that image, you know? So, <laughs> I will always, dude, I I will always go back to hey, it. starting to think of Guitar Hero as sort of like the restricted license of rock and roll, where it's like, <laughs> when you have a restricted, you can still drive a real car, but... You know, you can only drive at certain hours and you need to drive <laughs> exactly. a real car alone. It's too dangerous. So maybe an electric guitar is too dangerous for real.
those old romantic songs, like stuff like I like them. Yo quisiera ser un pez. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just, I, I love that stuff. That a, yeah. Yeah, I love that. That's it. like that. merengue. Yeah. Yeah, that guy has hit, man. Yeah. Yeah, he, so he's like good Spanish Paul McCartney. Like, is. <laughs> so I'm not trying to say this, but I never accepted like Latin music till I was like older. When you're young, you're like, oh, you know, I hate Venezuela and I want to leave and I, I want to you know, see the world and live in the United States because you know, it's different, it's amazing. And then, you know, you, you get to see things and it's like, oh. I actually miss my home and I, I wish I was back there. <laughs> so now I'm listening to reggaeton. <laughs> <laughs>